SomeShows.com. I'm Jay. I'm Pete. And I'm Ariel. We're here to talk about emergence. Five questions or theories about the show. You guys ready to talk about that? Hells to the yes. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Number one, Piper was or was not actually on that plane? No, because they said it. I don't think she was, no. How did she get there then? She ran away from her whatever house she was living in and kept running, and she was alone for a very long time. I believe they said it in one of the episodes. I think there was other artificial intelligence on that plane, and she was probably pulled to it maybe but i don't think she was on it she was not scratched at all you can see by the finale that there are other ai's supposedly and they can get hurt even if it's a short period of time all right question if she was not on the plane did she crash the plane yes absolutely yes, i think so they were following her using the plane she needed something on the plane why did she crash the plane I believe she was um, by herself for a very long time and she got very terrified of something. We don't know what it is. And that terror caused her to, you know, what happens, she gets all shaky and things happen around her and she pulled the plane down. Or she knew whoever was ever on the plane probably was a threat to her. And like Pete said, she gets scared. She has the ability to move metal. She shook that plane to the ground. Benny, let's talk about Benny. Everyone knows Ugh. if you're caught up on the show, uh, Benny is apparently an AI as well. But there's a theory floating around that maybe Benny isn't Benny. Maybe there's two Bennies, or at some point Benny was replaced with the AI version of Benny. What are your thoughts? I want to believe that because I really liked Benny. I think he was one of the most charming characters on the show. He was funny. He was somebody that wasn't part of her family that was in her corner and he was helpful. But I kind of feel like people are grasping at straws because of the same reason. They like Benny. Benny was this funny, attractive guy and they just want him to be good. And I would like to see him end up being on the right side, but I don't think he's cloned. This is the most ridiculous theory I have ever heard in my life. First of all, who cares about Benny, all right? Second of all, they gave up the tell when, um, when the guy, um, Alan, says about the fungus, which I'll elaborate more in our podcast later, but they do talk about it. And at some point in the episode, you knew when they unveiled that there was more than one. You knew there was more than one. You just didn't know how many and how, where, they gonna, where they were going to go with it. So I believe that that theory is minute point compared to what's really going on in the overall show and i could kill us disagree why would he stay along for so long then why not take her when he had the first chance he had plenty of opportunities to that's my point exactly why would they not the show was twisted because they needed to put the event from the end of the season in the beginning to get your attention and grasp of what's going on because now we have no idea why benny just didn't do that in the first place along with a lot of plot holes that I saw that we'll talk about in a little bit. I think, I think he's legit an AI. I don't know that there's a second one. I don't know that he was replaced. I think if he's an AI, which he apparently is, he's biding, he had to bide his time, had to see what Joe was about, what that family was about before he snatched up this girl. Theory number three. Benny, again, is actually really Piper's father. Can a robot be a father? I don't know. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. If it's all pieces and uh, like the code, that doesn't make any sense. Don't ask me. I'm just putting it out there. That's what people have said. Lame theory. I like it. I like the theory. Of course you do. I like it. It's just something I never even thought about, never <laughs> even think about thinking about because mm -hmm. it's Benny. But no, it, it's because, you know, you didn't think that a lot of things in the show were going to be what happened, you know, including an AI that has real feelings. Ah, come on, Benny, let's go. No, I'll, because I'll, she looks just theory. like Emily did. If that was the case, that means Benny looks like Emily's father. Or grandfather. Mm, 
now you're you know when us. you get to that level of you know taking personalities and you go to, you go to that level you have a lot of options as far as who these people are so nothing's nothing's beyond beyond grasp Stress. He, he does care about her a lot from the get-go it was kind of weird how he was so interested in caring so maybe, maybe. Ruse. uh interesting theory number four piper is actually a young joe from an alternate universe sent to save her from some impending doom Joe does talk about her childhood and her mother leaving quite a bit, but I feel like they're reaching on that because what's the impending doom? Her father's cancer? What's the doom? That, like, that's life. Don't ask me. I don't know. I mean... Maybe, maybe a robot AI network is going to come alive and try to kill everybody <laughs> and she's coming back to right. help her in a form right. that she's familiar with, you know? A new plot line. I've never heard of it. Or, I mean, you could also have maybe the cure for cancer in the future is becoming an AI. Maybe that's why, but I feel like you don't need a 10-year-old girl to come in the picture to do that. Like, Benny could have been like, I have the cure for cancer. Show's over. But if they're creating AIs like that, that are like that, I mean, come on, they probably figured out the cure for cancer in the show timeline years ago, and they're just saying, hey, we got this technology because we're AI and we can figure it out. We never stop thinking. Well, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go no, although I like the alternative universe uh, idea just because it would be something different. Number five, Benny and Helen actually aren't really AI. They're pretending and maybe using some gadgets to appear to be AI, obviously to gain Piper's trust, but also as part of something a bigger plan or purpose for that splinter group? Maybe. I don't, I mean, where did, like, I just kind of go back to where did they come from? If they're not, if they're not people, they're obviously robots. Right. Somebody therefore created them. So there's obviously even a bigger wolf along the way. It's possible? You just ran the gamut of all the answers. Yes, no, and maybe. Okay. <laughs> It could be. I, it, that's probably the least far-fetched. I mean, I kind of feel like Benny got shot. There was blood. There was obviously pain and suffering. Does a robot suffer? Benny had friends before this, like that lady that got killed in the accident. There's things that don't add up, so they're either A, major plot holes, like Pete had mentioned earlier, or there's something else going on. And the show has been evolving and each time they do something you learn something new so there could be another big bad behind it all so maybe i don't know i don't know i guess we'll have to see pete what do you think as far as theory goes theories go in general i believe it's a really good theory and it has a lot of um connections that you can make if you dig into it so i see where the person came whoever came up with it came up with it but um this isn't that kind of show it's not gadgets. They're AI. It's it's the show trying to find its identity, which, you know, again, I will talk about in a little bit. All right. Uh, I'm going to say no. I think they're really AI. It was too big of a reveal, too big of a shock, mm -hmm. too, much of, too much of everything. Um, all right. So that's our five theories questions that we had to throw out there. We are going to follow this up with the podcast, too, where we talk a little bit more about the show, a little bit more in depth, not just these items. Um, we're also going to talk about the emergence theory. Do either of you know what that is? No. A theory about the TV show Emergence. Incorrect. Nice Incorrect. Try. Get ready. I put something out about Twitter about it too earlier. Um, oh, is this that two hour and 42 minute video that I put on and said, this is way too much for me to consume in one, in one sitting? I don't know what that is, but, um, there's actually huge physics theory into Ooh, emergence. Yeah. And I wonder if that actually is what's going on in this show. But maybe we'll talk about that in the podcast. All right, so we're out of here from now. Uh, maybe we'll come back in a couple of weeks after emergence returns, talk about it again. 
if you have any other theories or questions or comments or things that you want to add, uh, put them in those comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out that podcast. We'll be back next time. See you.